Talk about sporting history and names. This one's very synonymous with the sporting name as far as the hockey world goes. Anyone that knows a lot about hockey, Stan Jonathan, well, this is his grandson, Jonathan. Jonathan, uh, big reputation uh, to fill up to or live up to? Uh, yeah, somewhat. <laughs> he always trying to give me advice about stuff and uh, he just tells me to do my best at whatever I do. I guess the ultimate question, he gives you advice, do you listen? Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> gotta, gotta listen to him. <laughs> don't, don't have a choice for that. Yeah. So this is a great way to come out here and go home with the championship trophy. You were down two games to nothing right off the back up by Coquitlam. Did you take them lightly or were they just that strong for the first two games? Uh, I think we just needed to get our legs going, our mindset, and then we weren't really expecting uh, them to come out flying like that. And then uh, we just kind of get got in our rhythm and then made some goals and then this went from there just kept the train rolling you talk about getting in your rhythm you just kept right on going like a snowball going downhill <laughs> and picking up steam didn't you yeah what, what did the coaching staff say to you going into game number three uh just says that we have to pick it up like we are a whole lot better team that we can do this ain't even our closest game like we can be the best team in the Canada. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. No kidding. We talked earlier on the coaching staff, the drums, obviously the drums, the hype and the drums and the sound just resonates through the building. How much of a motivation is that for you guys? Oh, it's very motivation, especially the other nations out here, the, them supporting you and then uh, us back home, a lot of fan support here. No kidding. Do you have a good meal up in Squamish uh, with the First Nations oh, up there? Oh, very good. Very good. They treated you well, said yes. a prayer for everybody too? Yeah. That, that's got to be a nice feeling, you know, when you're, I mean, you're still young and, and full of energy and all that and you want to excel. What's next for you in your career? Um, hopefully to take it to the next level. Not really too sure where, where yet, uh, but hopefully I can take this on to a higher level and just go from there. You're enjoying some time off right now. You don't have to play a Game 7, thankfully, for you guys. Uh, game 7 would be a scary situation because the way the series was going back and forth all the time. Yeah. So have you been to the West Coast before? Uh, I've been here once, and I haven't been here since then. It was a long time ago, though. <laughs> it was when you were a little bit smaller. Yeah, a little though. smaller. Yeah. So, so where, are you, where are you looking at taking your travels? Where are you going to go around and see? Uh, I'm not too sure of this. Uh, keep my doors open and weigh my options and go from there. Good man, good. Well, I appreciate you doing this. All the best down the road and uh, say hi to your uncle Thank when you. you see him, okay? Or yeah. your grandfather. Thanks very much. Okay.